everybody. Well, maybe some lights would help. I'm back. Right on. I'm just still, I'm live, but I'm still getting stuff set up because, you know, professional that I am, I forgot to turn all my lights on. <laughs> For all intent and purpose, um, I'm listening. I'm just going to put my mic off because I'm chewing on some potato chips and they're pretty crunchy. Yeah, no sweat, brother. So, hey, everybody. Um, I'm home earlier than expected. I ended up with some tooth ache pains kind of stuff. Uh, next Thursday is going to kind of suck. I got to get a root canal because uh, one of my teeth is deceased. It's an X tooth. <laughs> Um, but, um, that's next week's problem, not tonight's problem. So, um, but, uh, I flew home last night. I didn't get home until four o'clock this morning and I was back up at, I don't know, 10 after seven or something foolish like that. So I'm, I'm not certain how long I'm going to go, uh, simply because of fatigue. So when I start yawning to the point where it's like, I can't stop, we'll call it at that point, but. Uh, Max is running with me. We're going to do the Civic Center speed runs, uh, including Liberty Island, which we did not do last time. Uh, and then I'm probably going to do the, uh, the weekly, uh, the DC housekeeping because, and I don't know if you guys noticed this, I'm assuming you did, but, uh, let's do this real quick as well. I haven't logged in since the reset or I, I have, but it's, it's just to log in basically um so we'll get this cleared up real fast uh but the before i saw that particular squirrel where i was going with this is if you look now at the weekly projects so the daily um Every time you do it, you get an exotic component now, plus an SHD re recalibration, plus the bounty, plus some pretty decent XP. The weekly gives you three exotic components, and you can do these with all of your characters. So I've actually switched around how I manage my characters, and I've got four level 40 characters now, because uh, just doing the... Well, I mean, not that I've been able to do it, but if I were to do the daily with all four characters every day... 7 times 4, last time I looked, is 28 uh, exotic components. Uh, plus, if you do the 4 weeklies, that's another 12. So that's 40 exotic components just doing uh, dailies and weeklies, if you have the stamina to do it. Uh, and then there's also the summit. They've actually changed this, that you only now require 15 floors, so it's half as hard as it used to be. The only disadvantage of playing summit all the time is level the, the 100th floor, uh, they've made it slightly more difficult insofar as you uh, you have to go out into the room. As soon as you enter the room, the doors close. So you're stuck in there with the hunters. So they've obviated the strategy I've always used. Hey, how's it going, ISO? Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, it's 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 not my first root canal. Um, it they're not the end of the world. It's it's a pain in the ass more than anything else. Um, they don't hurt having it done, or at least the one that I had done didn't hurt. It was just, a, it was a pain in the ass because it was two visits to make sure that they've gotten it all. And then it's another visit to the dentist to get a crown afterwards. So it's, like I said, it's a pain in the ass. Anyway. Control point identified. Um, so yeah, if you're not doing the dailies and the weeklies, you should be for the amount of exotic components you can get. Since the title update... I've gotten my Ouroboros up to uh, Expertise 25, and in all of the time that I've been playing, that's the first anything I've gotten all the way up because of how easy it is to get exotic components and um, how much less it costs to do it. So the other one that I'm working toward is the Elmo. Um, if we go into the Expertise portion of the Tinkering Library or the Tinkering Station... I think I spent a bunch of the ones that I already saved up, so uh, I, I actually need six. So, you know, the weekly's not going to do it. I was hoping I'd have enough tonight, but I was doing some testing 
talking to the guys earlier about sniper weapons and I ended up spending the three that I had stockpiled uh, to get the, the sniper rifles all up to the same expertise level. But this one's only one away from being maxed. And those two, the Elmo and the, uh, and the Ouroboros are my two favorite guns. So those are the ones that I'm going to concentrate on initially. But we digress. Let's get into some mission stuff. And uh, I'm thinking we start with the one closest to us. We'll go to American History Museum first. Max? Right on. Not easy. So, <laughs> the banter that's going on in chat, um, at some point, I'm going to take a quick side uh, trip back to the base of operations and show you guys the weekly scores these two lunatics racked up. <laughs> they, uh, uh, ISO broke 200 million uh, XP last week, and Max was not far behind him. It was, what, 178? 176. 176. Yeah. So that's the highest we've ever had in this clan by a lot. <laughs> so wow. it was a pretty impressive feat. All right. So this is all set to go. I'm running a... It's a basic strikers build, so it's four pieces of strikers, uh, Cheska chest piece with glass cannon, which makes it that much more interesting to run, uh, and memento to kind of offset some of the damage that I'm going to end up taking. I've got the little shield and I've got the banshee pulse. I should have gunner class. Whoops. I think that's the Banshee. Yeah, I've got the Banshee. So um, I can stumble them and disorient them quickly, or I can pull the shield out. So I've got two ways to uh, to negate some of the incoming damage that I'm going to take, but we'll see how it works. We're using the Ouroboros to build stacks and general shooting. And then I'm running a new Reliable, which I haven't really played with a whole lot yet. Um, and if it's, if I, I, th I used to play with these and I liked it. So if I do, um, this is probably the one that I'm going to, uh, optimize and, or find a better one actually, because these roles are, I mean, I can optimize it, but it's, if I can find better roles, all the better. Uh, I ended up rolling crit shots on it and it's got perfectly optimized. So it's got really nice weapon handling. It's a 2.1 second reload. It's perfectly stable and 50% accuracy, which is not bad. I put crit chance mods all around in a big mag. So Hostile control point nearby. all set, Max. Yes, sir. All right. Three, two, Get one, it. go. Your goal is a collection of transcripts and notes from months of prisoner interrogations. The information is stored on a military grade laptop, kept in the main holding area downstairs. The first priority is to release the prisoners to keep the true sons busy. You'll be looking for some kind of security terminal. The security terminal should be somewhere nearby. Going for the, the uh, terminal, if you want to head through the door. Terminal detected. Mm -hmm. Sounds promising. Find it and patch eyes again. There you go. Okay, I'm in. Open. Now to open the cells. And the I'll cells catch up. Are open. Downstairs. Get moving. It's the downside of running strikers with and all basically all red bars. Is it's really hard to build stacks. Yep. Which 
should be it. The true sons seem to be in control of the holding area. The hyenas are knocking out security cameras. Pretty smart of them. Banshee's back up. We'll go straight to the back, assuming that's where they are. Okay, I'll wait for the spawns. Coming back to you. Reinforcements incoming. for the door. Yep. Just lost the camera feed from the holding area. There was a bright flash and then static. Serious trauma detected. Just ahead. Once you find that laptop, grab it and get the hell out of there. Oh god, I? Yep, there's a couple up there. Reinforcements headed your way. North or south side? Both. Heavier concentration to the south. With all those gates sealed, the north exit should be closer. Going straight to the back, down the left side. Okay. I'll lead over so I can catch the slot when they come out. One at the back. <coughs> Not a bad time. Uh, I'm seeing 635. Cool. It's still flashing everything for me. What is it? Let me see. 634. Nice. That was almost as good as last week. Yep.
Yeah, we didn't waste a lot of time. No. Yeah, I got 634 as well. Not bad at all. And from yep. a league perspective, I just want to compare it to last week. That's the apparel. I want Civic Center League. That was American history. 601 was last week and 635 this yep. week. And we were running with a, I, I think I was running my skill build and two DPS builds last week, which is ultimately a faster run. Yeah, and last week we ran it and they're like, no, that it good. No, we ran it hard. Was it hard? Yep. But, uh, did we have any directors on? No. Okay. Uh, Jefferson Trade. So I do have a hive on me, so if I go down, just ignore me. I'm just going to change a little bit up. I'm just going to change that to my auto. Okay. So I can hit a little bit harder. Quicker. Okay. All right. Ready when you are. Yep. Three, two, one, go. I'm on the left escalator, so I'll go left. Spinoza came from a parking garage close to the shade node. Isaac has the location. and see if you can pick up Espinosa's trail. He tends to leave a mess. to the left. Clear. You're near Espinosa's last known position. The shade node should be close. And we both have to go in to activate the shade node. Yep. Carl forgot that last week. <laughs> I think it was Carl. Someone was hanging out by the stairs. It was me. Okay. <laughs> it was me. All right. Good to go. Authorization granted. Please stand by. Intelligent system analytic computer reactivated. All Isaac subsystems operational. That was the last step to getting Isaac fully restored locally. But we have a ways to go before we can celebrate. And a missing agent to locate. Continue yeah, your sweep of the complex. Continue to spawn out this back door. Yep. Hostile radio. I'm circling around to the right. I'm gonna. Hello. I'm gonna go to the back and come is back up to the, the front. Looking for someone? Who is this? How are you on this channel? A friend of yours gave me a real nice wristwatch. He's right here. Want to talk to him? Sniper's if down. If you want him back, we can make a deal. Back off. We'll deliver him unharmed. Mostly. No people alive. They aren't stupid. Just find that hyena piece of shit and we Clear.
That went pretty quick, that section. You want right side or left side at the bottom of the stairs? Uh, I've got no preference. I'll take right to go left. Okay, done. Just so we do something. We do damage. Major power signs, zero. He didn't have to die here. Right door clear. Or sorry, left door. Back clear. Whichever way you go, I'll go the opposite. Okay. Changing, we got a little bit further distance. I've just changed back to my armor. Okay. I'm going for her coyote. Okay. Six oh six, or maybe that was last week's. There was nothing you could have done for Espinosa. That was quick, though. All right. That fucking hyena was toying with us. I got a coyote knock. Nice. Mm -hmm. Suffered a bit before you finished her off. Anyway, thanks to you, we're an important step closer to getting the Shade Network back to full strength. You did good. I'll see you around. takes forever to, for these to come up. <laughs> Got to show me every single thing. 605. Which I think is faster than last week. Mine shows 606, but that doesn't matter. Last week's was 615. Yep. Nice. Nice job, man. Yeah, that was cool. That actually finishes my league, but I, I I still want it in terms of all the activities for it, but or the you know you know what I mean, all the the, yep. the who's it's. Um, what was the other one? Was it Camp White Oak? Liberty. Uh, I know it's Liberty, but what there is one we're missing. It is. Um... Federal Emergency Bunker. Federal Emergency, yeah. All right. On my way. Do that, and then I'm going to clear out some inventory space, and then we'll go to New York. Ready when you are. Ready. Three, two, one, go. We need to find out what happened to the team that went to try to repair the main shade node. The federal shelter should be beneath your current position. Find a way down there.
Sure. Not to why not? Oh, lay it up and down. <laughs> Evening, Garrick. And yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, I had a pretty cool time with with him a couple of days ago. In the he invited me to run. Uh, Immediate medical assistance needed. Hugger coming out. Okay, never mind. You're kidding me. I didn't know. I heard him and I died. That didn't help much. Where the hell's the last one? No, that's the lot of them. It was because I, I uh, respawned. Human remains detected. Yep. Identified as division agents on my side. No way the outcast could have taken out an entire squad in a fair fight. Not possible. There's no way. I shot him in the head. Peter to sync Isaac with their comm system. Hopefully we can get a 20 on our team. If they're in any shape to answer. Connection established. Hello? Can you hear me? This is Manny Ortega with the division. Oh. Manny, thank God. It's Maya. I'm all that's left on our team. We couldn't get the note back online. I salvaged some equipment that will get the White House note connected to the national network, but before I could get back, those crazy fucks showed up. You gotta get me out of here. I didn't think I was running up the hall and you were pulling me. <laughs> if you get there quick enough, you can pop them before they come through the door. Not like not. that now. Vital science critical. Top side. Hugger coming at you. Just stop burning. Even see him sitting there. I think I'm safe for now, but please hurry. Helps on the way, Sit tight and just try to stay calm. I'm gonna do the valves on the way around the room. Yep. Got to put 
put out the flames. I don't know if Maya has any fire proof here. Yeah, that's completely understandable, Garrick. It's uh, the sniper builds are a lot of fun. Yeah, I did some countdown with him and these guys the other night. Oh, cool. He was taking them all through. None of us. Well, I'd only done three or four, or two or three, and none of the other guys had ever done it. But we went pretty good. We just saw our uh, backsides with the hunters at the end for extraction. They were pretty hard. Yeah, they are. Yeah. The guys were pretty low level, so there wasn't a, too much DPS to speak now, of. But I don't think they're gonna so the hunters were, but I don't know what they I did were to make a bit of a so bust. You have to stop them. But they're they did good. see them dropping down. Come big boy, come big boy. Your side again. Far left. Boys out. Down. If you hadn't have shown up when you did. Hmm. Couple of hiccups. We could have done it better. Not bad, though. Hmm. Remains to be seen what the time was. Yep. Nine twenty. Yeah, it was slow. I think that was slower than last week. But this one, there's so much friggin' waiting around at the end. Yep. It is. I got 9.42. Let me just see. 9.44 last week, 9.12. 9 yeah, so we did better. 9.20. Not bad. I'm just not getting the DPS out of my main, well, because I'm running a arm on killer. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's I all. I don't have the main, but I've got decent survivability. Not when I'm running into smack bang interface of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you try and... Uh... That, uh... When you try and pat out an explosive uh, na napalm device with your face, it doesn't work so well. <laughs> no. I mean, the initial explosion is fine, but then you keep burning and burning and burning until it's all done. Yeah, and it's one of those that I have managed to heal through it once or twice, mm -hmm. but it's rare. Yep.
that's why I run the most that I run, uh, Garrick. Uh, it's the Logitech G502 Hero. It's not terribly expensive, but it, it's comfortable. Um, and I don't know how well you can see this uh, on the upper camera, but there are... <laughs> that's as far as it's going to go. Um, I don't know if you can see the silver inside or the weights. And I don't know which camera is going to show it to you better, but you can weight it to where you want it. Those uh, chevrons are actually all weights. <coughs> There's also a button on the side where you can change the DPS on the fly. Uh, and there, I think, is a button where you can hold in. I've never man, uh, mastered that one, but you can hold it in and it brings your DPS down to whatever you want to program it to. So you can go stupidly fine DPS. Um, it's perhaps not the most expensive, it's not the best, but it's... and I stick to wire just to decrease the latency. And I'm used to it. That's, I think, probably the biggest thing is, you know, it's it's comfort level with, with whatever it happens to be. Uh, it's the G502 Hero. Yep. Well, it's got the two on the side. I actually use those. Uh, one of them is my grenade button because it's just easier than searching for it. Yeah, I understand. By the way, has anybody gone to the new vendor yet? I unfortunately, like a dummy, didn't do it on camera. I did it yesterday when I got home as soon as they opened up. Um, the mechanic is exactly, or the mechanic for finding them is exactly the same as... Um, uh, what's her name? And of course they've reset, but I have my best luck right up here, uh, f finding the snitch, which means I'm not going to find him right now. But you find the snitch, there he is. Come here, I've got new contract. Target is near you, agent. And when we go back to the map... He'll have two icons. So we've got Cassie Mendoza and we have the new one, Danny Weaver. Um, he sells one exotic cache. Uh, there's some optimization caches. There's some named item caches and there are some uh, field proficiency caches, which sound like a bit of a letdown, but everything I've pulled out of all of those field proficiency caches, and you get four of them per week, uh, are perfectly rolled, like God rolled. So if you're trying to flesh out your library, uh, or if you just need well-rolled gear it's and you've got the textiles to spend, it's definitely the way to go. So now when you go to the snitch, he opens up both of these vendors. And then you just wait for them to open, so he'll, he'll open again in 16 hours. Um, now, I've already purchased them all. It's a limited number of caches per week, and it is account-wide, so it's not like you can grab a whole bunch on one character, swap, and go grab a whole bunch more on another character. It's just, you, there, there's however many caches there are is all that there is for your account. But it is, it's a very, it, it's, for somebody like me who's been playing for near five years, when I go into my apparel, uh, I've already spent a bunch, and I've got 66,000 textile credits. So, you know, you spend, you know, a thousand or fifteen hundred of those a week. You know, if you're playing the game, you're going to earn a lot of that back anyway. You know, uh, with the blue items, because uh, I haven't pulled anything new out of it in a long time. So the blues give you 75. And again, if you're churning through levels like we tend to do, um, you know, I just, just running around tonight, just got 150 back. So. Yeah, let's see what we got from the veiled. Well, it, now it's a little more worthwhile because you, you, it's, it's, uh, it's, 
he's got a set number of caches. So it's a, it's a guaranteed exotic component or a good exotic. It's guaranteed max rolled gear uh, out of the four caches. Then there's uh, two named item caches and two optimization caches, which are just materials. So it's it's actually pretty decent bang for their buck. I'm I'm impressed enough um, or pleased because it uh, it's it's a way for me to finally get rid of my textiles because it's been a really long time since I've, there's been anything in the it, that I've been able to purchase or there's been anything new that I've acquired from a cash. Yeah. And like I said, this is the area where I find I see him consistently uh, right there. So this is where I'm at on the map. And this is the National Bond Armory. In order to use that as a fast travel point, you have to have you have to click on it. Basically, the doorway is right here and you just walk up to it and interact with it, uh, inspect the mission. And once you've done that, you can fast travel to it. And that's the same with all of the uh, classified assignments. So. Assuming that I think, you, Max, you need the year one pass for the classifieds, correct? Or do you remember? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yep, I need the year one pass. If you want to run that, that's fine, because I'm going to be going off in 15 minutes. Uh, with this stupid load shedding. Do you got time to, to run keener, do you think? Maybe? Mm. 15 minutes ain't gonna do it okay that's fair enough <laughs> i honestly don't think i'm gonna have enough <laughs> but i will be back in two hours time if you want to run it then if you still want i'm feeling okay right now but that's probably an illusion <laughs> i'll see when i come back on yeah on. yeah I'll do it up on you and you can do it we'll do it then i'm gonna try it solo and we'll see how how well i get on Well, let's see how well we do. So I'm going to run, I'm just going to change the chest talent on this so it's not quite so risky. I'm going to pop out a group if you're going to run Kina, just so you can go. I, don't I have no cash. Out. What the? Oh my God, I got no money. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. So I guess I'm running glass cannon. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, let's see what rewards I've got. Actually, I've got a bunch of stuff here. I'll have some some stuffs to spend at the end of this. So. that we want and these we will deconstruct yeah i was doing a metric ton earlier of optimizations and stuffs so that's where all my cash out? went it takes a lot yep yeah, not I, mean, I went down from one point, I had 1.6 million and I'm <laughs> down to 900,000. Oh, 700,000. I have 4,220. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we'll go run a bounty or something. Um, let's see what we got to do for the, uh, for the weekly. We'll start working on that. Because that got me, well, we did a main mission on, and we did a stronghold mission already. Interesting. So it's just named Hyenas, True Sons, and Outcasts. All right, so that is bounties. Yeah. And that'll get me some cash. Let's see what we got here first. Well, I can run with you until I'm before. Okay. We've got, that one is Black Tusk. I don't think it's you Tusk. Been promoted to group yeah. leader. I forgot to throw it up on the screen team. so that I can watch it. 
So we need hyenas, true sons, and outcasts. Straight north, heading to the National Bond Armory. <laughs> yeah, I, I set up another hotshot build on another character, basically. So I think I've got that sniper build on all my characters now. Big boys down. Okay. <laughs> Some outcasts with shields and shit in the street. Ooh, NPC out of the shit. Fuck that red and red and I'm coming in from yeah. the side. I'm taking out the other guys at the other end just so that they, they don't come after us from behind. Back's clear. Coming back to you. Named it down. We got a big boy in the park in front of us. Okay. Looks like it. Oh no, he's just a. Uh... Big boy. Down. God damn, this like thing hits hard. <laughs> well done. Where are you running? New reliable. Oh. Is and an, and the Oro. No. So that was one. That one is True Sons as well. We'll do that one. Target is near you, Agent. Back same place. Yeah, I'm basically using the Oro to build stacks. And then I'm switching to the new Reliable because it's it's hitting like a truck.
flame it out. Pulse going out. We got some side activity, I'll take care of it. Get a big boy. Big boy down, sniper down. Here it comes. That shotgun blast hurt. One bad guy at a time. So we need here, we just need Hyena as an outcast now. I'm going to press every button except what I mean to. Heroic hyenas. We're down the same road. Yep. Bunch of, there's a, a resource convoy coming in on the uh, on the left side. Let's see if we can finish this up real quick. Going for the resource convoy. Got their heads down. Yeah, 
Yeah, done. Come on, get down, get down. Resource convoy is down, I think. So let's regroup back over here because I think that's where the convoy actually it was. Yeah. Yeah, we had a bunch going on us now. Yeah. It was the convoy. Was coming down the road and suddenly there was at least ten around me. I oh I know. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> we did we didn't finish the we ba we had two things going on simultaneously. Yeah, we did. Which is and they were pretty close together. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <coughs> we in the middle, yeah. Target spotted, Sheriff. One left. That's your target. Another one down. Good job, Agent. Just need one more hyena and four outcasts. Okay. I think we should have bullets at that distance. Wow. Target is nearby. Same place? Suppressed. Suppressed. No longer suppressed. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good tactic. Because we know they're going to keep the head down. Yep. There's a couple in the street. Yep. Right by the white truck. At least I think there are. Perhaps not. No.
No, it's not even close to optimized, Garrick. It's, uh, yeah. An agent has gone offline. And I've lost Max. All right, time to get rid of this and go to this. Bad guy at a time. Nicely done, Sheriff. I'm just going to collect up the stuff from around here. We'll switch areas because I think I was out of hyenas and uh, outcasts for this for this district. So we'll go clean up the. Well, I guess we don't have to go back to the the White House anymore to do that. See what we got here. Black Tusk. Black Tusk. That one is hyenas, but we don't need to do that many hyenas. Let's see if I can find a single. That one's outcasts. That one's outcasts. We'll do that one. Oh, so I'm just reading back, Eric. Yeah, the 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 SR one uh, will do a, it's a marginal DPS increase over, say, the White Death. Um, But it is marginal. I mean, the, the the upshot of it is, whichever, especially if you're putting together a, a like a hot shot style build where you're going to use an MMR, um, and you're running chain killer for your chest piece or something with headhunter on it. 
uh, you get your headshot damage up. 150% is all you need, but if it's over 200%, it just doesn't really matter which gun you're using uh, at this point, as long as it's optimized. You're going to one-tap everything once determined gets procced. Yeah, anything with a helmet always requires a two-tap. Uh, the nice thing about it, though, is your first shot will break the helmet, and then it's being, it's not rushing the shot on the head, is basically what it comes down to. Uh, and that will reproc determined for you. President Andrew Ellis may not have been the leader re-elected, but when we needed him to step out from the high... Freaking purple shot gunners. I'm gonna die here. That's not good. The big challenge with running an uh, LMG now is like the new reliable or the... Uh, yeah, I can think of the name of the other one. The uh, da, 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 da. whoa, 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 whoa. New Reliable or the RPK style ones. Uh, the named RPK is the Tabula Rosa. Um, this one, I don't know which one of these I like better because they both do similar things. This one's optimized, so it gives you weapon handling. Um, this one is actually a better piece than the one I'm running. Yeah, why am I running this one? Uh, hang on. But we want crit chance. And then it matches the other one. And then it was all crit chance. And the big mag. So 
So I'm going to dump the other one. Actually, let me clear out some space here. But yeah, so the new reliable has um, perfect, uh, sorry, it has uh, perfectly optimized. So that gives you accuracy, stability, and reload speed. And then the Tabula Rosa has steady hand, which grants you stacks of 1% accurate stability. And then at 75 stacks, it consumes the magazine to reload it. It's only a 50, 50 round mag 51, uh, whereas the new reliable actually has a 65 round mag. So it's the one that I tend to go to because it's just slightly more ammunition. So uh, they both hit about the same. This one's hitting harder, um, but I don't think I put any expertise on that one. No, I did not. So they're all, you know, and then the, you know, just the L86 is, uh, is actually pretty decent as well. The MG5, I'm not a fan of. Uh, it's got a nice high RPM, but it's got a, a lower lower damage number I guess is probably the best way to word it so I'm just sticking with the newer reliable for right now uh I use the hotshot backpack uh my standard build is punch drunk chain killer and then four pieces of hotshot so it would be backpack the the advantage of the hotshot backpack is when you get into the hotshot cycle you can miss a shot without resetting the cycle so it does allow you to duff one here or there um and then, it, so it's the backpack, the gloves, the knee pads, and the uh, holster are all um, uh, hot shot pieces. They're all weapon damage and headshot damage. The chain killer and the punch drunk are rolled the same. They are weapon handling and headshot damage, and then all headshot damage mods. And I end up very close with the with the white death. I end up very close, if not slightly over three hundred percent headshot damage. So it's it it hits hard. The other option, instead of running Punch Drunk, if you don't have it, would be to run a piece of, if I have it, I don't think I do. Um, it's the armored 15% uh, headshot damage uh, brand, and I can't think of what it's called. Uh, so you, you end up losing 5% headshot damage running that, but you gain armor, so it's give and take. You don't need crit on a, on a uh, sniper build. You actually headshot damage is where all your damage numbers are going to come from because that will tie into the chain killer uh, with headhunter. So what this does is it deals an additional twelve hundred and fifty percent. So if you follow it all the way through. After killing an enemy with a headshot, your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 150% of that killing blow's damage. So you're increasing your weapon damage, but you've also got the headshot damage, which is in a different bucket doing its, it, it, its multiplication thing. So you're, you're basically, if you think about it from a math perspective, is I'm taking all of my weapon damage and multiplying it by 12.5. Uh, sorry increase yeah no sorry i'm increasing yeah yeah exactly i'm multiplying it by 1.5 inside that bucket and then i'm multiplying that by if i'm at 300 percent headshot damage uh multiplying that by three so you get a huge number crit chance crit damage doesn't really pay into it habsburg guard that's the one i was thinking of or a piece of pravi uh, but habsburg gives you the opportunity to run a piece of uh to to run armor if you want it or if you find you need it But I, like I said, I've got a, a couple of punch drunks that both have both uh, weapon handling and headshot damage. So exactly. Depends if you want blue or red. That's rather well said. The main other thing that you got to worry about is driving them into cover or uh suppressing them uh, before you kill them. That's the big thing. That's the target agent. 
But most of these guns now with the buff they got and have more than enough uh, damage to kill whatever it is you're going after before you suppress it. With good positioning, the other thing about Hotshot is you're getting armor on kill. Um, you know, it's 10% it's armor on kill, basically, and it's, it's also giving you 10% bonus uh, armor if you're already at max. Wonderful combination, actually. I've got a machine gunner on this side, and I've got a sniper on that side. And he's healing. Fucker. Oh, I, I jumped out of cover. <laughs> I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. I forgot I was in cover, and I pressed my cover, so I popped back up out of cover. <laughs> How many do I need? Two. All right, let's not get greedy. <laughs> Says the guy that just got killed. Signature weapon for... Oh, yeah, I suppose I could have. Because it does give me bonus armor. Target is near you, Agent. Yeah, there are some outside. I'm trying to take the machine gunners out as quickly as I can because they hit so friggin' hard now. But as far as other options for machine guns, I had mentioned the MG5. So this one won't do the crit damage uh, because of the chance issues, but, or sorry, the chance things, but uh, it certainly does have RPM going for it. And this one's got Frenzy. So this is going to give me a rate of fire buff and a weapon damage buff. So we'll give it a try. 
Go. Target spotted, Sheriff. My build is four pieces of strikers, uh, all rolled crit damage. This one's imperfect. Crit damage mods, uh, memento backpack, and a Cheska chest piece with glass cannon. So it's a little bit of a risky build uh, because of the glass cannon, but it's offset slightly by memento when memento's fully stacked. And that's no longer the case because I, I died, I think, just before you asked your question. I don't know if you were here with that for that. Stop reloading. Target neutralized. Good work. That's your target. Heal, 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 heal. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. That's gonna leave him right. Another bounty. Well done. So now I just got to get one named Hyena and the weekly's done. Now for that, I should really have been moving more, um, especially against outcasts. Alternate mode for medkits? No. Do tell, please. I will be the first to admit, I have not paid a whole lot of attention to the, the title updates. Uh, and because of circumstances, I haven't been able to play all week. Oh, double tap. Okay. Five second cooldown. Interesting.
Oh, okay. Why did I not know? Because <laughs> uh, I'm a dumbass. That's why. So basically, it's a double tap of your med kit button or your armor kit button gives you an, a band aid. Okay. Well, that's a little better. We've got some cat. Yeah, it's funny uh, how much, how many, like, I, I don't know if you guys were paying attention, but before we went around these bounties, I had 4,200 credits. And now I've got 100K. Now, mind you, 40 of that came from watch levels, but. work, you know, and, you know, reading. You're assuming I can read. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No, but for something like that, uh, where you've, you, you've just been set on fire because of special, special ammo. All right, we need one more named hyena. Let's see what we've got up here. have a metric ton. No, no, fewer than I thought. So that's tusk. I think these are all black tusk. That one's challenging. We'll do that one. That would be kind of cool. I'm going to get rid of this LMG. It's, it's, good, but I don't like it, so I'm not going to use it. Uh, let's use the Tabula Rasa for a little bit. And make sure it's modded the way I need. Target near you. purple shotgunners. So that one was my own fault because I left myself with no ammunition in my other gun for when I my shield breaks. Hostile control point nearby.
detecting high threat enemy patrol. Why not? Tend to take this on. Nope. Serious trauma detected. I got no health kits left. That's perfect. I don't think there are, are any health kits around. Can't remember. I know there's ammo. Here we go. So we get grenades, but I want health packs.
that, Sheriff. Yeah, with chungas, the best place to shoot them is in the fields. Uh, it's the lowest amount of armor on any of their body pieces. I say armor, it's the lowest amount of health points on any of their, air quote, armor pieces. Uh, or target pieces is probably a better way to word it. Weekly done. You got the target. Nice. Cleaning up the streets one bad guy at a time. Nicely done, Sheriff. I don't know if it's shown the weekly project completion yet. I'd have to go back and rewatch the video. Well, to be fair, Garrick, I'd soften it up with the LMG. But yeah. And it's a fully maxed out Oreo as well. And I'm hoping that I got enough exotic components. I'm going to run back to the White House. Uh, to do the same thing with, my, with uh, Elmo. I need seven. So we do the daily. Uh, but first we clean up. Well, that's a keeper, because we can roll on damage to targets out of cover. Tactical 308. Got a, more than enough of those as well. That's a really good question, Garrick. Um, I don't have a full answer for that. I, right now, what I'm trying to do is I've got two guns that I use in almost every build. One is Elmo and one is Oreo. So I wanted to max those out. 
then I'm going to go back and start looking at the guns that I use more frequently and start uh, cha uh, changing, re-rolling the attributes, looking for damage to targets out of cover. <coughs> As an example, uh, I do have capacitor rolled to damage to targets out of cover, but I got an absolutely crap armor roll. So I'm at some point going to re-roll that. Um, Elmo is the expertise out. Scorpio. This one, I haven't played it. It's I've, I've not touched this because they just, they hit so hard. Uh, but yeah, damage to targets out of cover on this would be incredible. Um, so, uh, I, and then there's, uh, damage to targets out of cover on an Eagle bearer or something like that. So I think I probably, to be honest, I'm probably going to do Scorpio first because I use that for countdown. So that's going to be my next, uh, the next one I'm going to go after. But again, the problem with that is, again, damage to armor. Um, it, I, can I even optimize that? Yeah, I can. So but it's interesting because I can optimize that one, but then you look at capacitor. And this one's just completely grayed out because uh, I can't take it past, I think it's six or eight. So... Capacitor, I'm going to leave alone. I'm going to ponder that one, but I think I'm going to do, once I've got uh, the my El, uh, Elmo all the way up, uh, I'm going to start going after reconfiguring uh, things like my, uh, like, like Scorpio uh, because of where I use it and how much I use it. Uh, as far as using it on, on non-weapons, but gear pieces, the way I would tackle it and the way I would deal with it is for the guns that you use on a regular basis, take them to 11 because that's, it's 11 or 12 now, 11 for sure. That's as high as you can go without dealing with exotic components. So why not take the expertise up? It's, it's an additional 10% weapon damage. For the main central focus pieces of your builds, use your exotic componentry on those one to take them as high as you can. It's only, I think, 42 now to take it all the way to the top. So you've got more than enough to pick two um, and expertise them all the way up. For your gear, uh, I would not take them higher than 12. I wouldn't use exotic components uh, until you've got all of your weapons exactly where you want them. Um, the bonuses aren't as... They don't provide as much bang for your buck uh, in terms of the, the extra armor that they give you because the reality is in this game, it's not that armor is useless, but when you've got people people that can, you know, effectively one tap or, you know, they're doing almost a million damage per shot because they're using the same weapons as we are. A million armor or two million armor doesn't actually go that far, you know, so let's say that the average is a, you know, 500k per bullet. Well, you guys can do that math. If you've only got a million armor, that's two bullets and your armor's gone. If it's a, if you're at two million, you're a tank, <laughs> it's four. So again, Armor isn't useless uh, because now we're also talking about optimal ranges and, and, and so it, and it's knowing who you're going up against and what weapons they have. I'm not an expert on that. I, I, I've got a pretty decent feel of things, but I'm, I'm no expert. Um, I'm a believer in, or I approach the game from the, the mentality that if they're dead, they can't shoot back and they can't do damage to me. So I want to take them out as rapidly as I possibly can. Uh, especially if, and this was, this was advice from another content creator is if your build focuses on or has, or a component of it is armor on kill, you want all red, you want to kill as rapidly as you possibly can to take advantage of that because using blue cores at that point is taking away from your ability to heal yourself. So bear that in mind as well. Yep, get the stats where you want them, and then uh, like the like my stri main strikers pieces, the ones that I use on a routine basis, are all taken up to twelve because it does help, but it's not. You know that's twelve percent additional armor for each piece. So as an example, the gloves have eighty k armor, so it's an additional additional twelve percent on the eighty k, which is not a big big number. Uh, similarly, you know twelve percent on ninety nine k, so it's another twelve uh, k roughly. Um, same thing here. It's another 12% on that. So it would be another 15K of, of, of armor. 
uh, on the mask if I was to do this one again it would be 8k of armor so it would be taking it up to 80 well it'd be, it'd be 90 basically uh, so it doesn't go as far as you would want tank builds um, as an example the the tank build that I run is actually a true patriot build and this is what I run in countdown so I'm at 2.1 million armor but I've I've taken these ones all up to 12 specifically to get me above 2 million armor because I'm using this to give back out bonus armor for my team. So it's a little over a million bonus armor that I'm giving to the shooters that are on the team that I'm on for countdown. So if someone's running an all red strikers build, uh, all of a sudden, you know, they're instead of having 8K, 800K uh, armor, or uh, they've now got 1.8 million armor for 20 seconds. And I can reproc that every 25. So there's only five seconds out of every five seconds out of every 25 where they don't have a million bonus armor. So this is absolutely massive. Uh, we ran not that long ago. I was with Max. We started with a group of eight. Somebody dropped, and it was a it was a, basically it was a group of seven for the entire thing through, and it just it went flawlessly. It was. It wasn't easy, but it, it wasn't hard either. Um, and, you know, it was just nobody went down. Um, the big thing with that one is making sure that you're, you're keeping an eye on the icon that's under your ammo count and flicking your shield every 25 seconds to keep everybody's bonus armor up. But this build is, it's a tank, but it's more about giving bonuses to the other, to the shooters on the team, if you will. Uh, so I'm using Scorpio for because of this once i've hit the eighth shot 20 percent damage from all sources stacks no longer increase so again you know uh, i'm getting my shots in i'm also poisoning disoriented shocking and then they take additional 20 percent damage after the seventh shot so there's that just from running scorpio uh this svd uh has sledgehammer so i can sledge them true patriot gives lots of bonuses. Uh, I get extra ammo capacity and magazine capacity, but uh, once they're flagged in, uh, once they're flagged and it rotates with red, uh, it amplifies the enemy's damage taken by 8%. And that's across everybody. So that's an amp for eight, of 8% for everybody. Uh, white, shooting the enemy repairs the attacking agent's armor by 2% once every second. So it's armor regen. Blue, decreases the enemy's damage, de damage dealt by 8%. So again, there's less incoming damage. And then when they're full flag, they, they explode and they deal with the explosive damage to everybody. So I'm running the four piece. I'm running the point man, which gives perfect vanguard. Uh, and then I'm running the setup because that gives perfect opportunistic. So if I hit enemies with a shotgun or a marksman rifle, which are my two, my primary and secondary, everybody does. And they take 15% more damage from all sources for five seconds. So again, oh, and the one last thing, uh, by running the demolitionist specialization, everybody else on the party gets an additional 5% damage to targets out of cover. So this build is about, I, as long as I'm staying up and I'm popping my shield, everybody's got bonus armor and everybody does more damage. So that's the point behind this build. It's a non-selfish tank build. So it's not necessarily about my personal survivability. It's about the team's survivability and the team's ability to deal damage. And I do have that one mythical 13 percenter. That one's a 12. That one's the 13. And I don't know if you were on the stream the night I got it. I got it out of a cache, like a, a you know, a, a watch level completion cache, uh, just a regular uh, field proficiency cache. They're out there. <laughs> so. Um. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark the project. So that one's complete. I'm going to do this one next. I'm just going to mark it as so that I can see it on the screen. And I got to go find my water bottle because I'm drying out here. So give me two minutes. Uh, I'm just going to find and fill a water bottle and then I'll be right back.
All right, welcome back. Or I'm back. So the daily, we got to do West Potomac Park, West Potomac Park, West Potomac Park. So the two names, if we do a heroic control point, that's going to take care of that. So I'm going to go back to a striker's build. With Elmo. Press every friggin' button. So we're running, this is a a bog standard high high ish dps strikers build four pieces of strikers everything rolled weapon and crit damage with crit damage mods they're all rolled the same cheska chest uh like i said it's got glass cannon uh just because of the nature of what we're about to do uh, i'm going to re-roll that back to obliterate And you've got two options for decent damage. One would be Overwatch if you're going to play it from cover. Um, or you can run Obliterate. So you need the crit damage to do that, which I've got on this build. So uh, I was playing with the Glass Cannon as an experiment. It's a riskier way to run it. Because you take that extra 50% incoming damage. Um, and then Coyotes with the crit damage mod. So the stats on this, I should be at, I'm at 52%, 173 crit damage, 75% headshot damage. So I could, and in fact, I'm going to, just to make the point here, I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to take this any higher than 52%. You, you're at this point, you're tempted. Oh, well, I'm going to throw on a crit chance mod and take it up to 58% because that's going to proc, uh, um, oh, uh, obliterate, uh, better. You're running coyotes. I'm running an assault rifle. So chances are I'm going to be engaging the bulk of my enemies at this range. Therefore, I'm going to be getting plus 10% crit hit chance. I'm actually 2% over cap at that point because the cap is, is 60%. So it's going to be 60% chance, 182% damage. And then if I'm in close, it's 52 and uh, 77, uh, 97, 197% crit damage. I had to think about that. And then if I take very long range shots, I'm actually over cap. Well over cap is basically it. And then I've got uh, the lefty um, twofold reason for running it. It's an ACS 12, high rate of fire. It will get my striker stacks up very, very rapidly. Basically one magazine plus I can all, I've also got, can take advantage of sledgehammer when I need it on named enemies. I don't often have the need to do it. And then the last piece is completely optional i've got a bunch of different options i can't run the any of the exotics but i can run my card custom with future per perfect to give me an extra skill tier uh most times i run a d50 with determined uh because it's it's i use it on most of my builds so it's a it's for me a comfortable gun i, I know it's handling characteristics it, they're imperfect but i know them so uh, we need West Potomac Park. Down here. All right. So we've got the mast, flooded levee, or a Washington monument. Whole bunch of options. So why don't we do that? We'll hit these things on the way in, and maybe we can get the loot goblin to spawn as well. So we'll do the public execution first because we're going to trigger it anyway. We'll probably end up doing both simultaneously.
Uh, get off the tree. And then this is what I do with these bounties. I always save them. So basically accept it, find it, press, if you're on PC, press G, and then press F to abort. And then it saves in your list, so you've got it for later. So that you can do them when you need them, rather than just letting them go to waste. Or lay on the ground. Which, like I said, going to waste. We got a hunter up there. ammo downstairs inside I think maybe if not there's some over that way yeah we'll go get ammo before we take on the Washington Monument All right, Garrick, good talking with you, as always. Um, and if you're back later, I'll be here. A hostile control point detected. Should be good. And then we got to do Lincoln Memorial. Okay. 
That's a fairly easy one. Yeah, I say that before we've taken on this. Reinforcements incoming. later need ammo detecting additional hostile contacts moving to their side i can watch your back Oh, he's the other way. I was right the first time. Damn it. Supply room access unlocked. Come on, stop moving. Thanks for showing up. And we're going to do probably water.
think that's everything out here in terms of the loot drops. And if it looks like I'm chewing my teeth, I sort of am. I, uh, I ended up doing something to them. Had a dental appointment dark and early this morning. I've got, I've got to go get a root canal. So it's, and it's inflamed right now. So I'm trying not to bite and down on my teeth, but it's kind of like when you've bitten your lip, you keep chewing at it anyway. Or if you've been eating ice cream and you get an ice cream headache, you, what's the first thing you do is have another lick of ice cream. Right. And then it's Lincoln Memorial Mission on hard or higher. Not a problem. That's one of my favorite missions. There's a lot of loot. So, with that in mind... I'm going to clear out a little bit of space here. I'm just going to clear it all out. We need you to secure the memorial and remove the True Sun's forces. If they maintain this outpost, the True Sons will be a direct threat to the campus. Try and play this one a little aggressively the first time. We'll see what happens.
All clear. I repeat, the compound is all clear. Now that can't be all of them. Check the interior while I get Henry's people to maintain the perimeter. Basically, the 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 overall strategy tactics have to change, but is <coughs> if you can get it so that there's one or I can't remember if it's one or two left, but there's the initial group, there's a spawn from that door over there, and then there's a spawn from the door that you can't quite see from up there. Those are the initial spawns. So if you can take down this entire group and kill one of the two over there, you can usually actually get up here before they spawn and then you can kill them in the doorway and then you're in an okay position to take out the chunga better position for him is actually over here because you've got freer fields of movement if you will but no plan survives first contact with the enemy <laughs> And then this room, there's the initial group in the center around that carousel. The rest of them are at the back. And then there's a spawn from the door that's right over there. to turn the memorial into a base. There's an area beneath you with increased security. Isaac can't access data on this location. Stay alert. I don't know what you're walking into. And if you've never done this mission before, there is something to pick up from right here in this bookshelf case area. It's a backpack trophy. two ways to manage the neck like there's there's two in the next room you can you can deal with them or don't then you can also jump if you're doing this and you want to do it quickly for a speed run you can head straight for that door by jumping over that railing this is chemical weapons we can't afford to let the true sons escape with those the frig just happened way to close there. up that tunnel that was very very odd I don't know if that comes across on the stream. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's basically like if I'm doing this as a speed run, I actually, when I kill that last guy in the room, I don't run through this whole area. I actually go to the map and just hit fast travel because it'll take you to this door. Uh, so it's the quickest way to clear it. So you clear that room where all the spawns were, and it parks you right here by this door. Come through here. And start hitting your jump and your roll, and you're halfway to the door. That's the quickest way through that whole section. And don't jump the railing here. It's actually quicker to run around it. Because this is the mission where we were doing the... Uh, the, the challenge speed runs the uh, I guess it was two seasons ago with Golden Bullet. So what we were doing is we were doing timed speed runs on heroic with no directives with Golden Bullet active, and I think ISO won that one actually. So I'm telling you how to shave time off your 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 best time and you were you were top dog anyway. <laughs> And there's a more aggressive way to play this room as well. I'm just doing this in a semi-relaxed kind of way.
And for the speed runs, what I found the best synergy for me was a slight modification of this build with uh, um, uh, the Memento backpack. Because those trophies with the extra little bit of damage for everyone you pick up, it was it, basically because you are running and gunning it, it worked out better. It was actually doing more damage overall. That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. You think those the tunnel will start? Fuck you! You blocked us up in with us! I'll make sure you rot down here! tonight. Good work. Go on and head back up. The team from the campus has taken position inside the memorial. If you hadn't stopped them, I know they would have used those weapons on us, and we would have ended up like Castle. I can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on our side. Thank you. So that was two levels for that mission. Today, we dealt a great blow to the <coughs> sun's infrastructure. We confiscated a massive cache of chemical weapons. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, Ori I think that's exactly the way to go with the Oreo, um, Oreo Strikers, Memento, uh, probably Cheska Grupo, probably Cheska. Um... I might even try it with glass cannon. So that should have gotten us our seventh. Yes, so I've got enough to fix Oreo. So I'm going to run back to the White House. Actually, I'm going to see my stats first. So just casually, it was 12 minutes and 22 seconds, and it was just, I was opening everything, I was collecting everything, and not re and repeating sections. So my best time was sub six minutes. I think I think I was 5:45. I'd have to go back and look at it. Uh, ISO. I know you were faster than me. I think you were 5:36, but I don't. That's from a, a rusty memory. So. <laughs> um, 
And again, that was on Heroic, but you do have the benefit of Golden Bullet. So. But that's exactly how I was playing. It was basically, you know, I wasn't going out of my way to collect striker or mementos, memento trophies, but if they were there, I was def, you know, when it was a slight zigzag, I was picking up as many as I could. So here's what we were after. We go to expertise, we go to assault rifles, we go down to Elmo, and like that, Elmo is now maxed. I've been working toward that since I got it. <laughs> it only took a, what, eight months. So. 516, 536, that's what it was, yeah. I think with a perfect run, uh, it's, it's, you can hit five minutes or just under five minutes. Uh, we could, I think. It would be a matter of not hitting any poorly placed chungas and, you know, it would just a perfect run. Because ultimately, that's what speedrunning is about. The guys that I've seen that just tear it up are running uh, Hunter's Fury headshot build with the Regulus. Um, that would be not for Golden Bullet, though. It's my second one. So the Oreo and the Elmo are now maxed. So my focus now is going to be on uh, re-rolling Scorpio to damage the targets out of cover. So that's the next on my list. I want to have a I want to have nine or ten of them before I start, though, because uh, I know me and my RNG luck. Oh, absolutely! It's it, it Regulus on on uh, on a run like that. It is nuts. I mean, just watch Hutchler, uh, or, you know, or, or guys like him go. It's just, it's insane. They do a lot of training for their aim, though, uh, which I have not done. And, but when I do it, it pays off. And it doesn't take long for it to pay off. Thank you. Like I said, it was a long time in coming. So the only Civic Center run I've not done yet, in, I, although I've maxed it all out, but I haven't done the Keener mission. So I think I just saw Jedi come on. If he's game for it, we'll... Uh, I wouldn't mind running that. See if we can get under the uh, the time limit for that one. That one's tough. But yeah, I'll, for the guy, for those of you who are here at the start of the stream, we were talking about the uh, the clan board this okay. week. Um, we had two members go over 150 million uh, XP for the week. ISO, who's in the chat, uh, was 2039. And Mad Max was 176.8, and that's highest by a fair factor from what we've ever seen at the in this clan. Uh, and Annie hit, was over 100. Uh, I don't know who was in fourth. I think it was Jedi, but I'm not positive, or it was Carl. I'm not positive, but just I'm. But the the global event was just so much. It's so much fun that particular global event, and it pushed the clan all the way into the 34 
under 3450 global. Uh, we, not that long ago, we're at 46, 4800, somewhere up around there. And it's just, we've been tearing up, th upward through the list, which is, I mean, I don't know how active the rest of these clans are. That's like, you know, it's, it's anybody's guess, but I'm sitting here thinking, oh, it'd be nice if we could break 3000. And now I'm thinking, you know, breaking 2000 is probably not unattainable, which is, it's kind of cool considering there's only, I think 30 members of the, or 30, I've got everything the agents can 24 like clan members. Is that it? Really? Yeah, we've only got 24 members. Now, most of them are active, but yeah, we've only got 24 members, which is kind of cool. But yeah, that was last week. And, you know, I've managed to get my name at the top of the leaderboard, and that won't last. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when I get up tomorrow morning, that's probably going to be wiped down into third or fourth place. So, because it's, yeah. Anyway. Um, there were 30. There were. There were 30. So, um, Jedi might have pruned the list this week. Um, what we typically do is we'll keep an eye on it. And if there's guys that are inactive... We'll watch them hit 90 days, which is as far as it counts. And if they stay there for a while, we'll prune them off the list. And if they want to rejoin, it's because it, it's an open clan. If they want to rejoin, they can rejoin. But uh, I'd rather have an active clan than, you know, have, you know, 200 members who don't do anything with the game. The only disadvantage to that is, unfortunately, someone who I knew was eventually going to come back in, Mire, who's, who's on this chat on a regular basis, got pruned off the list inadvertently. But that build we were just talking about, that Hunter's Fury build, if I go to my standard headshot build and then replace these with Hunter's Fury with headshot, which I don't think I have all the pieces for this character. And by the look of it, I may not have all, any of them. Uh, let's see what we can put together. And I need a backpack. Yeah, I need the backpack. Which I think I can craft if I need to. But while I'm thinking about it, that needs to go to headshot damage. Not mod, come on. Had a decent weapon damage roll, so we'll stick with that one and then just roll on headshot damage. No, oh, we had enough to do the whole thing, so just like that, we got a we got a piece. All right, and then we need the mod. So it's my standard build. So I didn't change any, it, it changed these pieces and I've actually got Regulus on it already. Um, what I normally throw on here, why do I have two of those? I apologize. I'm, I'm tired. So squirrel basically. And I didn't enjoy that one, but I'm not going to delete it yet. So
So what I've got is I've got a white death if I need it. Um, that could be swapped out for any. Basically, we did some fooling around earlier. I've got a couple of um, other sniper rifles with determined on them that can be used in place of the white death if you want a slightly bigger magazine. The, the SR1 actually hits slightly harder because it's got better base damage. So we'll throw that one on. Uh, we're running a, an M870. The military M870s actually hit slightly harder, but look at the damage we're doing with this. It's 1.8 million per shot, and I've got pummel on it. So three consecutive kills, refill the magazine. I use this for helmeted enemies because it, it blows the helmet off them instantaneously. And then you can switch to the Regulus and wipe them out. So this is a crafting project that you get through doing the Iron Horse Raid. Basically, when you do Iron Horse the first time, it opens up a project to for the crafting of the Foundry Bulwark cr uh, series of, of pieces and the Future Initiative series. Basically, you do Foundry Bulwark, which refunds you the materials that you've just used for the crafting. You do uh, the Future Initiative. You finish both of those, and that opens another project for the Regulus. Then you have to do another run through it to get the exotic components for this. And then it's a, uh, it's a Magnum, a 586 or a 686 and the exotic components and you craft the ra Regulus. So that's how you go about getting it. Doing the raids is not as hard as you think it is. You get on a well-established community discord like GC Rock, DJ Tickle, uh, Tux, uh, the actual uh, Division 2 uh, main one and then sign up for looking for group raids and just they they are more than willing they're they're, they're a raids like i i play primarily on the tuxedo bandito uh discord there are raids run every day multiple times per day there are incursions run every day multiple times per day and they are more than willing to take people through so that's how i was able to get these it wasn't it, and it wasn't certainly wasn't skill because you get carried through it it uh it's not that difficult so, but what the Regulus does is it gives you pistol damage and headshot damage, but it's the talent. Headshot kills create a five meter explosion dealing 400% weapon damage and applying bleed to all enemies hit. On top of that, we're choosing on purpose to run Hunter's Fury because we get armor and health on kill, but enemies within 15 meters will receive a debuff, amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20%. Killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon disorients other enemies within 5 meters and amplifies weapon damage by 5% for 10 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. So if you kill them all in a doorway, one of two things happens. Either the headshot explosion kills everybody, or the ones that are remaining are disoriented and you kill them with the second shot. And they're bleeding while you're doing it. And then the this increases the radius of it from 5 to 10 meters. So this is kind of the setup. This is a speedrun setup, basically. Uh, you're a glass cannon, uh, you're at minimum armor, um, but you've got a long range weapon, you've got something that's going to break helmets, and you've got something that's going to wipe out massive quantities of enemies. I'm not very good at running this build. I'll be honest, my aim sucks. I have a tendency to actually, while I'm trying to hold, the, while I'm trying to move the mouse and, and hit the button, I'm actually doing this inadvertently, and I pull, I pull it off target all the time. Um, so... I typically run the big shield, and then I would run a revive hive. Uh, if you trust yourself, you can run the uh, riot foam to stick them in position. Hey, hey, Valk, how's it going, bud? Haven't played with you in quite a while. What I'm going to do for right now is I am going to run a revive hive. And just for the purpose of demonstration, uh, this is how I would normally run it in my world, is I would back this down to challenging. And then I'm going to press every button except the one I want. See? Press the button and summoned me. I know. <laughs> um, Did you see that thing I sent you? No. Check your Discord, like, right now. <laughs> Borderlands. Yes, the movie. Oh, my God. With Kate Blanchett? Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god oh my god <laughs> i'll make the popcorn get your ass over here 
<laughs> you got, if you get done with your stream tonight, you got to watch that. That is that is something else, man. I but, will. Yes. You no, know, if you can if you can point out everybody in that trailer. <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah, so when I saw that earlier, I was like, I got to send this to me like right now. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. All right, I'll let you get back to your stream. All right, bud. Do you want to join? Uh, I'm at the girlfriend's house at the moment. <sighs> Sounds like an excuse to me. <laughs> it's still a thing, man. I would try it. <laughs> I only have two. Actually, I, I have two words for you. Apparel event. Uh, <laughs> if it was cross-platform, I would hop onto the Xbox right now. I really would. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's Valk. That's his Gripna name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Always an apparel it, event. It just started. It started on Tuesday. You've got two weeks. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, all right. Oh, jeez. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be around this weekend if you want to do some running around. Yeah, I might, I might join you uh, if you're gonna be on Saturday. Um, I, I can be on Saturday. Cause um, the girlfriend works until like five my okay. time. So. All right. Either hit me in Discord yeah. or shoot me a text. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to it. All right, bud. All right. See ya. Take care. Um, so that was a massive squirrel. Where was I? <laughs> so. This is the build. So this is what I typically, this is how I typically set my world if I'm looking to farm XP. I don't do it on heroic. I do it on challenging. The reason being is you run it on heroic and there are more and more and more gold bars, uh, which are just that much harder to kill. You lose determined. Well, in this case, we're going to use regulus. It's not about determined. But if you're running a determined build, you, you will typically lose determined. And then it's a bitch to get it back. So... For something like this, if I was going for XP global event active, I'm going to do these events all around the uh, the Washington Monument Control point because you leave this uh, this and this alone, and all of these events will con or the the open world activities after you've cleared them. By the time you've made your lap, you can restart, so you can fast travel to Tidal Base and work your way through. You get around to here, so I'm going to go after the resource convoy by going down to DZ South. But the object for this is to hit headshots uh, because that's going to give me ammo for my other stuffs. I think I'm running gunner, but I'm not positive. I might be not. I might not be. I might be running uh, the sharpshooter specialization, which is less than perfect, but it is what it is. All right, we get time. There it is. So that's the explosion I was talking about. close enough, but we might be able to get into position for the last wave. Detecting additional hostile but that's the power of it. You just saw that, that the entire last wave got wiped out with one shot. So that's kind of what I would do. And then in this case, I'd work my, I'd come back here and do this control point. So when this is a control point, the spawn is at the top of the stairs. When this is a uh, public execution, the spawn is over there on the side doorway. So I am actually going to mount the stairs um, because I'm, I should be able to take them all out as they as they come back in. There's one 
one left. Oh, we get UAVs. Where is he? there is actually anybody here. Hmm. Might be for the you keep host yeah, it's the hostage rescue. So So there's a level. We'll do the hostage rescue and then uh We'll go back to what we were doing before. Let's do that one. I'm probably going to get them killed because this is a long way. Because I do this to myself every time. I follow the GPS instead of taking the short route. But yeah, Gunner would be a, probably be a better choice Identified. for this particular build because we're not really relying on the uh, marksman rifle, so it's waste. And make sure you lean into pistols. Which I don't think I am on this. Well, let's do this because we're here.
Hoping to miss that public execution. Because they'll be dead by the time I get back. So, I don't know how long we've been at this, but it does not take very long. Let's see if they're still alive, and then I'm going to head back to the White House. So if you can do it right where you got them coming out of the spawn and you can shoot straight, um, it's really, really, really simple to take them out very quickly. So that was four of very quick levels. So this is what you need in order to do the crafting project. You can see they're basically the same gun with some extra stuff on it. But if you have the um, the blueprint, you can actually craft one yourself. Uh, right here under weapons, pistols, either of these will work.
Great. Um, if Max comes on in the next little bit, uh, we will do that uh, last speed run, and if not, I'm going to probably wrap up. So I do know that I've got some apparel caches, so let's see if we can finish off a couple of those. Uh, let's see if we actually get a full piece, a full set. See what I'm doing. I'm pressing space and then I'm right back on the X key to reopen the next one because you know, then it, it shows up half done. I ended up having to open 66 of them after, <laughs> after the last season, so I got pretty decent at doing this quickly. I'm just kind of have to keep counting real head. So we will go look at our outfits. We got all but the glasses for that one. And we've got two pieces of that one. We did finish the Scrim Master. Which I don't really like. The one that I've seen that I... Or is that... No, it's... No, it's not that one either. Hang on, which one is it? Ah, uh, you get a ghillie suit when you complete it all. When you get all of them. You get this one. The Veiled Tactics one. So we need three, four, five, eight more pieces. Eight more, eight more caches. It's not bad. Here's hoping I can get some good stuff in. And I have not looked inside, seen what the okay. So there's Fox's prayers with status effects. That work. You need, uh... Invisible hand. That's meant to be actually pretty decent now. Perfect Allegro with rate of fire. So that might be worth picking up. Thanks for making the deal. I think that's actually where I got my one of my new reliables was right there. These are actually pretty straightforward to get. Why don't we do a run of countdown while we're waiting? I don't know if I've taken you guys to run a countdown, so we'll try that. Um, so like I said, this is the build that I run. We'll just try matchmaking. Received an invite to another agent's group. You have joined a group. <coughs> While we're waiting for that, I gotta remember to set my loot. I'm going to set it to gear system mods. Because there's nothing specifically that I'm looking for. Actually, no, I'm gonna set it to Cheska. Uh, I can find it quick because I can never remember what it is. That one. See if I can get another chest piece uh, that I can roll over to permanently over to uh, glass cannon so I don't have to keep changing out the one that I've got.
So like I said, my job basically, or the way I'm going to play this, uh, is flicking out my shield every 25 seconds, basically. And then just shooting stuff and running around. Rikers have taken the power plant. Not sure what they're trying to do with the nuclear reactor, but they've triggered the safety protocols. The plant is going into lockdown. We need to find a way to relieve the pressure. And if you can and see the, the icon system. under the 09 or the 10 far left, uh, it's gray. System alpha. Reactor unstable. Emergency lockdown protocols activated. 15 minutes to lockdown. Critical pressure level. Nope. To avert catastrophic system failure, system burst required. System restored. So I'm just looking for that. You can see it's slowly turning gray. When that one disappears, it looks like three people with a shield in front of it. When that one disappears, I just flick the shield at it again and, and stow it and carry on. What's interesting is in Countdown, it gives me bonus armor as well, and in the open world, it does not. You're in. We need to locate the target. System breach initiated. System disrupted. System reactivated. Transfer halted. High risk target detected.
minutes to lock down. Evacuate the facility. Agent, you're in. I need you to fix that cooling tower. I'm gonna need you to find a way to release some pressure. under control. You just need to vent the remaining steam and you should be good to go. That's under control. You just need to vent the remaining steam and you should be good to go. Serious trauma detected. Great work, Agent. The power plant is stable. Now get the hell out of there. Shoot off a flare so Torres knows you're ready to go.
The big thing with extraction is not getting too far out in front of everybody and dealing with the hunters by yourself. The other big thing is keep an eye on that timer that's in the left hand corner or uh, right underneath the mini map. Don't fire the flare too soon because that pisses everybody off because then there's less loot. Fifteen, twenty seconds, ten if you can stomach it, <coughs> and then fire the flare. Cool. As soon as I'm done this run. to stay for one more. Nice work. You stabilized the power. Alright, let's see if we actually got a chest. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it is like so. It it, it is kind of funky that it acts Erica different. Detected. So let's mark all the shit we're not gonna keep. How's it going, Max? Hey, man. I'm back. I'm just watching your stream. Oh, cool. Did you go for that? Um, did you call it or did you join one? I joined one. I didn't create it. Well then. Yeah, I'd like to do another couple of them. Yeah, and we'll see what we ended up getting out of this. I mean, there's a couple pieces that I'm keeping so far. Double Cheska? Yeah, I went after Cheska. I was seeing if I could get another good chest. Mm-hmm. Well, I could keep that as my obliterate one, so that's a possibility. Nope. 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 So, yes. We've got one that I could re-roll to crit chance, crit damage, optimize, and there's my obliterate one. And then I can roll the current obliterate one over to um, glass cannon. Ooh, I got a chain killer. Oh, very good. Out of one of my uh, caches. That's awesome. I've only got, I think, on all of my... There it is. All of my stuff, I've only got two of them to share around my, my characters. And I'd like to have four, obviously. thing is space becomes a problem you're gonna have to use each one as a mule well the way i'm doing it now is they're all playable characters um yeah they're mules they've got storage stuff on them which makes them more challenging to play because there's less room on them when i go out yeah um but they've all got a couple of builds put together with the gear that they're carrying around and muling so to speak that's not bad yeah so that needs to be done because it takes, it takes quite a bit to put builds together for four characters. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put that Cheska piece on this build. Reroll that to crit chance. Dang. Weapon handling and explosive resistance. That looks like that's as far as I can take it for now. Uh, but it's not the end of the world. I'm down in damage slightly. That was a, I think it was a crit damage mod. And then I'm going to resave. That would be Cheska. <laughs> no, we might get it up further than I thought. If 
flags are where the, I think the bottleneck's going to be. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? I think I can. I can get to 12. Just. <laughs> Awesome. So you can see, I mean, you know, running these all up to expertise 12 doesn't increase your armor by, the, by that much. I think it's 140 or 150k is what it's it's up. So I'm back in on my main, ready to go. If you are, I'm just getting rid of a bunch of my cash. All right, I'm equipment just... that I opened. All right, I'm I am basically done. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Get rid of all the directives just for now. That was a relatively quick power down for you guys. That was two hours. So is that midnight, midnight to two or two to four, your time? Two to four. Yeah. So most, and I say this with all love in my heart, most normal people are asleep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <I> normal. <laughs> All right, we're heading over to the, the Big Apple and right down to Liberty Island. Okay. So I'm just running a, a normal Strikers build with the uh, with uh, Elmo. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that as well. Yeah. Take a break from my Elmo and Kill Bull. So we can kill him quicker. And I've got my Elmo up to expertise 25. What? Yep. Damn. Well, I, I had gotten it to 24 last week, and it was I needed seven exotic components. So did the... Uh, did the what did I do? I did uh, a couple of the SHD requisitions. I did the weekly, did the daily, and I found a couple of exotics along the way and, had, and got enough while you were off. Nice. Yep. Nice. That's pretty cool. Yep. So I've got my two main weapons now uh, at, all the way up to Expertise 25. And then I've got the ones that, that filter in and out of my build on a regular basis up to 10, a minimum of 10. Well, you almost double mine because I'm, I'm only on expertise 14, but I got all my weapons up to 14. Nice. That I use on a regular basis. They what I would mine. do if I were you is I would focus on, like, pick two mains that are sort of the, the, the centerpieces of most of your builds, or maybe mm -hmm. three, uh, you know, like Elmo, Oreo, and uh, um, uh, Scorpio. Yep. And just bring those ones along. Because uh, that's kind of my next priority is to get uh, my Scorpio over to damage the targets out of cover. I think you should just check. Yeah, mine's damage to, uh, damage to armor and 30 damage. Yeah, that thing's going to be changed. So and I'm running. Let's check on my others. Because I got three. Wow. Oh. Check on my other characters. I think I do have one with damage to armor. Uh, damage to targets out of cover. Cool. So I'm ready. Give me a second. I'm gonna run audio with my strikers. Roger that. Let's see if we can put some hurt on them. Are you running coyotes as well? 
you said. That'll work perfect because I'll play back a little bit and hopefully we can get both uh, both of them procced. Yep. All right. Three, two, one. Black Tusk just arrived and scuttled a ferry with explosives. They're hiding on another one of the ferries. They haven't spotted me yet, but there's no way I can take these guys alone. They need to get to Liberty Island to take out Kimura. First, I need to clear out the Black Tusk by the terminal and secure a vessel. Ideally, the ferry I'm currently on. The last one. System mm -hmm. restored. Intercepting enemy comms. There you go, right? Explosive set. Go to the middle left. In three, two, one. We're still here, Agent, but we're running out of time. I'm on the remaining ferry, but we need to secure it and get it up and running. Those explosives. Explosives detected. Got the door. Detected. Going right. Going left. Going down the left side. Come on, come on, come on. Unknown network detected. Signals coming from below the statue. It's gotta be him. Uh, welcome to Liberty Island, agents. I see the division really went out of their way to give me their tired and poor. Keener. He's tapped into our comms. Agent, ignore him. You know what your objective is. Neutralizing the last EMP. Keener is fucked, sir. All right, prepare for a full assault. All units, move in. The Black Tusk haven't arrived in New York by coincidence. They're here to get Keener. But why? That, dear Kelso, is the million dollar question. God damn you, Keener. Agent, I'm going radio silent for now. We don't want to telegraph our intentions to this fucking eavesdropper. Just don't listen to what he says. 
she will try to manipulate you. Count so out. What's your status? We've spotted division on the island. Damn. But we're all set over here to receive the package. Deploy the razor back. System malfunctioning. System back online. Gates open. Uh, you need to disable the razor back, but it will indirectly benefit your opponent. Sir, the division are approaching the razor back. Do not allow the razor back to be compromised. Use its drones to locate and neutralize Keener. Defend it. Razor back detected. I'm in trouble over here. Agent incapacitated. Yeah. My eyes got me. Weak points down. Just the dog to go. I'm heading for the. Shooting the crap out of me. Mm. They said I'm too quickly. Yep. You don't take down that. Uh... I'm down, down, down. I'm out. Oh, yep. Agent out. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yep. Three weak points are down. Razorback terminal detected. Side's done. Jesus. Razor back is disabled. Fucking drowning. Sir, the razor back is offline. That's just fucking great. One left. Impressive work, Agent. I can see why they trusted you to carry out this op. Come by the clip so we can have a more yep. personal conversation. Under the front entrance is inaccessible at the moment, <coughs> but there's a service entrance around the back. They'll figure it out. All remaining that hasn't happened in a while. That hasn't happened in a while. Deploy lot. everything yep. we have southwest of the monument. I just think Copy that, it's as if there's so many more drones Deploy that could the Marauder. Yeah. Yep. Well, sir. that time just I was... You know, almost what you need when you do that is, uh, you know, like when you actually do the raid, you need a, uh, a drone killer build. 
Yeah, but we've lost a crap ton of time now. Yeah, we lost about a minute. Well, no, probably about three minutes. Yeah. System is what it is. Sir, we've lost control of the Marauder. It's going to be very, very close. I figure it's probably a 20 minute run now. I think we were going to do it before that. Detected. Go on, just a little further. Trigger it as soon as you get there, if you get there first. Mm -hmm. So I'll go to when we clear this room, I'll go to one, you go to two. I'll go from one to three. Never take control. Yeah. You'll never have control. That's the difference between you and me. That's why you're still an agent of the Rogue incinerator turret detected. Hostile incinerator turret detected. Rogue assault turret detected. Hostile assault turret detected. <laughs> Rogue airburst seeker mine detected. Hostile airburst seeker mine detected. Rogue stinger hive detected. Like that one Hostile sort of like holes behind detected. that cloth. Yep. Rogue and you can't shoot through it. Detected. Hostile striker drone detected. Come on, Keen, let's talk to us. What's your objective, Agent? What are you doing here? Do you really trust the people you work for? Do you even trust yourself? Who can you trust? There's ammo out there if you want to wait. You gotta do whatever you can to prevent the launch of that missile agent. And once you've done that, do me a favor and kick Keener's ass. Initial launch sequence activated. Uh, Biological compound detected. You guessed it. Mine's There's running, it's at 20. Payload on that missile. Imagine that. Rogue striker drone detected. 50. I get no shot at that. Rogue assault 75. Detected. Hostile assault turret detected. 90. No Rogue. shot. You're such a waste of skill. 100%. You could have done wonders, agent. Tragic. My side's down. I don't think you might be dead. Head for three. I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing it for everyone. All I ask is for you to open your mind. 
Mine's running, it's at 10%. Okay, I'm gonna stick around pretty close. Seventy-five. Hundred percent. Front's done. Down. Forgot to equip a jammer pulse. No so we got to take done. out his uh, drone. Coming my way. Done. He's done. That was really close. I wasn't looking, so I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't looking either. <laughs> That's not bad. Even with it going down, so that would have been a 14 minute run. Mm, easily. Nice. Easily. That was pretty good. We went down, but did we panic? Hell yes. I mean, no, 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 we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Still completed our mission and with time to spare. Cool. Where was that one cache all the way back there? Yeah, there's there's one back here somewhere. There's a tree one right there. Yep. There's one over here. Me too. But there you go. And I'm going to wrap up and call it an evening. I am. It's been. <laughs> it's been. Well, today wasn't that long a day, but it was a very short night. <laughs> you understand. Thanks for that run. That was awesome. It was, even though we went, uh, well, I went down and then you. I didn't, I, and I it. didn't realize you were down. I, I would have played more conservatively. So my bad for my losing my, my situational awareness there. I keep forgetting if I want to play that bowl or whatever. I've got to load my, my armor and kill. Bold. I cannot play like that with the strikers. You can just throw memento on, because then you've got all of that bonus armor as you're running around. Yeah, that would work. So the Keep way the way that I run, I do have one. yeah, because this is. Let's see if I got I got all the pieces here. I, I do. do have a strikers with memento bolt set up. This is basically it, like this. So mask, gloves, knees, holster. Chest to chest with obliterate and memento. Yep. And then we yes, run um, Oreo. I've, I've got it saved. Yep. Cool. Like you need it. And without anything 
I've got a million armor on this. On yep. the full red. Yep. And I've already got a million on it. Which is substantially better. I should have just played it that way. Because even though it's a speed run, you can still pick up your your stacks from your kills. Absolutely. And it, mine hits pretty hard. It's at 57% chance, 149.3 damage with the chest piece not yet maxed out. Um, there is still, I'm at 10.8 out of 12 for the crit damage, so I'm missing 1.2 there. So it's a 150, yeah, 57, 150 build, basically. That changed the whole picture when I put the other one. Let me just put that back on. What are we at? 52, 137. Not bad. Yeah, mine's sitting at 57, 149 currently uh, with 1 1.2 left on the table. So that'd be 151.5 or 150.5. Well, that's weird because I got all my You, you Cheska or group button. over your chest? Um, I got Cheska on now. Okay. For my for my uh, memento, I can only use Cheska, and they are fully fully optimized for my PC. So I'm running crit. No, oh, I'm missing some right there as well. Hang on, let's see if I can optimize that. The chance to damage on my Mars and Cheska. I'm running. Crit damage, crit da I got three crit damage. No, crit damage, this is the one I'm sure, because I got a headshot damage on here, and crit damage. This just, yeah, I, there must have been a glitch going on, because mine just, I must have, I don't know if it was a coyote buff hanging on, or or what, because my stats just changed on me. I'm now at one at 57, 137.8. Yeah. So, it's a 57, 140 build. And it's weird if, if I put auto on, it changes the stats completely. Yeah. Then I'm over 60% on crit, but only 127 on damage. What I ended up doing is all my striker's pieces have crit damage. Mm -hmm. And then and I leave them like that. And then if I need crit chance, I'll throw a mod on. Rather than play with the, the, uh, the gear pieces themselves. Gotcha. This is, I haven't played with it for a while because, uh, you know, we're always running in a group. You'd normally run the one with Memento if you're running solo. Um, and I've completely forgotten I have to look for another Jessica chest piece. Yeah, I picked mine up tonight. It's so This one's still got Unbreakable on it. Gotcha. It's got a headshot damage attribute, which has got to come off. I'll be searching for that. Right on. For sure, to fix that. And I don't have a place to stick this build. <laughs> I'm full. Now we'll put it there. I actually put myself an ongoing Patriot and uh, Patriot build together. Oh, very cool. And uh, I didn't have a place to put it. So I had to get rid of one of my bolts that I you know, really infrequently used. Yeah. But I put one of them together, two pieces like you have yours, two pieces of Patriot, mask and gloves, three ongoing, um, chest holster and knees with ninja bike. We're at 34.47 now for the uh, on the on the uh, cl overall clan XP. Yes, sir. Nice. We are doing good. Yep. Playing, getting good. Awesome. And what are we doing for the weekly? I think my weekly is done. 
projects and control points. Those are th easy things to do. So maybe if I'm on tomorrow night, we can do some heroic uh, all directive play and do, do a bunch of uh, control points. Yeah, I still gotta get my. Uh, is your legend are you still complete from last week or is it? No, I didn't complete it last week, and I still haven't done and or or nor this week. Uh, it is title basin. Ugh. I saw. Ugh. I was actually invited yesterday. I don't know by who, but I was invited to a legendary titles, <laughs> and I just totally refused because <laughs> I'm not playing a legendary with big guys that I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a, Yeah. That's usually it. Titles. <laughs> it's like the bubble appears over your head. Your head. That's a hard nope. <laughs> yep. yep. That is a just subtly appear into the background and nope. Well, all right, everybody. I'm. I'm gonna I'm gonna spool it down for the night at this point. So um, I've been going over the builds as I've gone. So uh, the only one that I I don't think I played this one tonight. So it's you saw me throw it together here at the end. Um, still have a little tiny tiny bit of work to do on the chest piece on this one to get the crit damage up another one point two, and the striker's mask that I run on this one. Uh, it uh, again it's a one point two. Um, oh, that's weapon handling. That should be crit damage. There's the problem. How did that happen? Uh, that's why my stats changed on me. Now I'm back to 57, 149.8. I inadvertently uh, re-rolled my crit damage on my mask over to weapon handling. On your coyotes? No, on uh, Striker's Mask. Oh, oh, okay. But yeah, this would be the, the build I would run for something like that. I'm sitting at... Well, if that mask was at expertise, I'd be basically at right around... Well, let's see how close we can get. I don't think I have the materials anymore. That was Striker's piece. Disco farmable anywhere that you saw? Uh, I didn't go looking for it. I just, I did a uh, um, countdown run. Countdown. Yeah, I wish I can get, inv get invited to a couple of countdowns. I mean, the only way you get in there is either be invited or you have to actually create one, right? No, you can actually, uh, you know, uh, you know where I am under the helipad. The uh, the the last computer at the end of the line uh, is a matchmaking station. You go in there, countdowns bottom Match left, mate. and Ooh. that's it. That's all you got to do. I think I'll be doing a couple of those. Yes. So, anyway, um, thank you. Problem. So, like I said, this is going to be handy a million armor by the time I'm done and fully optimized. It should end up being 1.2 more crit damage. So that would be 151. So 57, 151, which is kind of where I want to be for Oreo because I'm going to play this one at close range. I'm not running uh, the coyotes mask, so I don't have to think about, you know, those variables. Uh, so uh, other than collecting memento trophies, that's the variable that you, that you manage on a build like this. But you do tend to play it closer. One thing to consider for a build like this is I'm running Gunner currently. The argument could be made um, to switch that over to Firewall. It doesn't give you armor on kill, but memento gives you 3% armor regen. But what it does get, or uh, what it does give you, if you switch it over to firewall, is health on kill. And we've got SMG, shotgun, and assault rifles selected, and then switch this over to the striker shield. 
and then switch the mods out. I gotta go find my five percent. There it is. Amazing that what you want to farm is never available on the map. Yep, guaranteed. Yeah. yeah. Like so by here or New York. So when you're running a build like this, where you know you're going to be at close range, you know you're going to be running the SMG, you can take advantage of the extra, in my case, 11% damage bonus per enemy, and that applies to the entire party by running the striker shield. So it's only a tier 2 shield. It doesn't provide much in the way of, of survivability, but basically what you want to do is get your memento stacks, protect your shield so that you can use it as a damage, basically treat it as an offensive weapon rather than a defensive shield. Or it's an offensive buff to your weapons, basically. So you're going to tank the damage on the way in, then pop the shield, damage and kill them, um, collect the memento, stack, give you some bonus armor, uh, some and armor regen, and off you go again. So you can see the, the cone that's out in front of you. That's your area of effect for the extra damage. So that's how I would, like I said, that's why I saved it. That's how I'm going to run this build. So I've got it saved. Firewall in that particular case is probably the be the better choice. Um, it does give you, like I said, it does give you health on kill. You have to rely on your uh, on the memento for the the armor portion of it. So. Anyway, uh, I am going to wrap it up and sign out at this point. I'm not certain if I'm going to stream Saturday or Sunday night. I really, truly don't know at this point. Uh, Valk wanted to play on Saturday, so I may swap the stream over to Saturday and uh, and then take Sunday off. Um, next week should be a normal schedule, and I say should be because I've got a root canal on Thursday morning. So next Tuesday, normal schedule, Tuesday night. Uh, Thursday night, it's going to depend on how my mouth feels. Um, I'm sure I'll be able to play. The question is, will I be able to talk? <laughs> so, uh, we'll play that one by ear, but yeah, for the weekend, um, I'll, if I'm going to go live on Saturday, I'll post something, um, uh, earlier in the day, just to give everyone a heads up that that's the day that I'm going to be streaming. And with that, I'm going to sign out. Hope you guys had a good stream. Uh, hope you, uh, enjoyed the content. Uh, if you're liking what you're seeing, um, I do actually have some uh, real videos in the pipe. Um, two of them are sort of add-ons to stuff I've created earlier, and the other one is, yeah, just new content. So we'll leave it at that. So Agent Meat signing off. Uh, hope you guys all have a fantastic evening, and I will see you one day uh, on the weekend. Take care, everybody.